I think the basic worry is that the cortisol level is going to be kept up if you keep your glucose too low. But one of the things that there are quite a few publications on now is the ketone body ratio. And what they talk about usually as ketones, actually one of them isn't a ketone at all. And the ratio of these so-called ketone bodies, acetoacetate beta hydroxybutyrate, and the hydroxy is a hydroxy or an alcohol not a ketone. And cancer physiology is high in the hydroxys, the reduced form, and low in the actual ketones. And what you want is the actual high ketone body ratio, keeping the alcohols low, because that goes with the NADH, NAD ratio being in cancer, the NADH reduced form is higher, and uh, lactate pyruvate ratio in cancer is high. All of the cell components shift in the direction of reduction in cancer. And so when you're starving or diabetic, typically you go heavily towards the reduced state of the cell because the fatty acids block pyruvic dehydrogenase, which is how you're oxidizing glucose normally. The Randall cycle, in which you have a competition between glucose oxidation and uh, fatty acid oxidation, it's that the fatty acids, which rise in stress, block pyruvic dehydrogenase, keeping you from oxidizing glucose. And this is the state of diabetes or stress or starvation. And it involves the failure to uh, fully oxidize the lactic acid pyruvate pair or the NADH, NAD pair, ascorbic acid and uh, dehydroascorbate in the healthy cell, ascorbic acid is in the highly oxidized form. In the cancer cell, it goes the other way. So the whole shift of stress and cancer is away from oxidation towards reduction. And fatty acids are right at the center of that by blocking the pyruvate dehydrogenase.